Here's a brief walk around of my Simplicity 3210V with a Chinese diesel engine in it instead of the original uh, 10 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. This is a retrofit I did. Uh, the original engine that was in it had a cracked block so that anytime it warmed up and got hot, it would just blow oil all over the place. So just for kicks, I decided to retrofit a diesel into it. Uh, my original thought was to do biodiesel, but that never seemed to work. So, modifications to the tractor. Down here, I had to cut out some of the uh, front hood to make room for this uh, bracket. This is the throttle bracket. Also had to notch out here in order to clear that. Um, it's hard to see, but down in there, there uh, was already a cutout in the frame that was perfect to fit this housing. No issues there. Um, oil drain plug sort of lined up. Um, I did have to make some additional cuts under that. Go to the other side. So on this side, I had to modify the front part. Again, this is part of the frame, the front frame. Um, had to notch that out in order to access the oil fill. Uh, you no longer use this drain hole. And that was about the extent of the modifications to the frame. Wasn't too bad, thankfully. Um, I did have to come up with a different mounting arrangement down below. Um, I don't remember exactly how that all lined up. Putting my fingers down below. It wasn't a perfect alignment, but it was pretty good. Um, I still run the, uh, let's see if I can focus in there, the original uh, plates and everything. This is actually the, the flywheel, the pulley off of the original engine. Um, other modifications include an upper bracket just to keep the engine in place. Uh, the diesel tends to vibrate heavily and uh, given the extra strut in here adds some rigidity. The engine originally had an air filter back here. It was a kind of a flat can type air filter. Um, I pulled that out, fabricated this 90 degree, and then put on an external K&N filter, which is absolutely disgusting right now. I've got to clean that out. The exhaust comes out of the front. Um, this elbow right here could point that side or that side. I chose the original exhaust side from the 3210. Um, it has, the diesel comes with this original massive uh, muffler and I had it hanging out over here. It kept rattling and breaking loose. Uh, I finally gave up and just did a straight pipe. It's very loud. I would prefer to have a muffler and I'm Still considering ways to uh, connect up a muffler. Uh, up front, it's nice, we've got the front mount PTO. Uh, one issue that I've had is that the shaft on this diesel, for whatever reason, I could not find a proper size inner diameter pulley. And some point along the way, I put the wrong size one and uh, the pulley and or the shaft at this point have wallowed out quite a bit. So this pulley, walks in and out. Uh, not my finest fabrication. Um, for the controls, we've got the throttle, and I also used the choke cable, and I'll show you why. So, back here, we have the throttle cable. So, pull it out, and you can actually lock it in place, which is perfect for the diesel, because it runs at a constant velocity. And this is the choke. The choke runs down to here, which is the um, pressure release in the head of the engine, diesel engine. So when I pull the choke, it gives the engine that pressure release. So when the engine is trying to lug to start, you pull this down and boom, it, it spins freely, and let it go, and it fires um, to build up pressure. It's something that I added afterwards because I found when the battery got low, it couldn't crank the engine. But if you 
did the pressure release, it could crank the engine just fine, and then I'd push it and bang, it would fire right up. Uh, original fuel tank, no problem. Um, the battery, I like to run a battery from a Honda Element. It fits into the space perfectly, and it provides that really large cranking amps and storage capacity that you need to fire off on a diesel engine. And uh, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to rearrange and see if I can get it to fire up for us. One last thing, just to, just to show. So put it on, the diesel tucks in there just fine. All the way around. No modifications to the hood. The exhaust comes out right where the original knockout um, notch was here. So hood fits fine, the original hood. In fact, it probably needs to be raised up a little bit There she is, diesel.